Hello dear viewer, welcome to Hope Channel Kenya, welcome to Lift Up Your Hearts, your prayer program. Tonight with me in the studio is Brother uh, Jegede, Brother Jegede Ayolua Williams. Yes. Yes, Please ma. say your name again. <laughs> <laughs> say your name. Okay, my name is Jegede Ayolua Williams. Amen. 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 Thank amen. you, my brother. Thank, Thank you. you ma. Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, brother uh, uh, Williams uh, is uh, from Nigeria, but is currently resident here. And he's going to share the word of God with us concerning prayer and share his testimony on Amen. answered prayer. Uh, don't go away, you can't afford to miss it. And uh, before we go on in the program, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord our God, for our viewer. We thank you most of all for Jesus Christ who died for us that we may live. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the knowledge of you, Holy Father that you have loved us and called us to yourself. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord our God, that we can call upon your name. Because of Jesus Christ, we have access to you. Oh, Lord our God, we thank you that we can come boldly before your mercy throne to find help in times of need. And so, Heavenly Father, tonight we thank you for our viewer. We thank you for all the prayer requests, O Lord our God. We thank you for your word that is about to be spoken. We pray in Jesus' name that you cause us to hear your voice. And when we call upon you, Holy Father, we pray that you will answer us that the joy of your people may be full. Be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Welcome back, dear viewer. Um, we will now listen to the word of God from Brother Williams. Brother Williams, yes, ma. please say hello to our viewer and share the word of God with us. Hello, viewers. Uh, once again, my name is Jagede Ayolua Williams. Mm. Uh, as my she said I'm from Nigeria, currently in Kenya. So I will be sharing with you people uh, the topic prayer because it really means a lot to me. Amen. Because uh, I think without prayer as a Christian, he, someone is not going anywhere mm -hmm. because we have a lot of uh, uh, temptations. We mm. have a lot of psychom like. You can't just do without prayer. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a breakthrough, like a gate. Like before you enter your house, you have to open the gate mm. and to enter. And for a Christian, I think uh, prayer is the open gate for uh, such a Christian. Amen. Right? Yeah. Mm. So uh, I think I'll begin with, uh, before we start, uh, I think uh, I can pray. Yes, you can All pray. Right. Mm. Then let's pray. I kind of love Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We mm -hmm. thank you for how you have given us the grace to be at your presence, to share a word mm -hmm. with you. Father, I'm praying as I want to share a word to talk about prayer. Use mm -hmm. me because uh, I'm just a, a human being who you have sent to be used. Father, I'm praying that may you use me to touch people. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus Christ's name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. And Prayer to me, I think when we go to First John chapter five, five verse fourteen. Mm -hmm. When we look at First John five verse <coughs> fourteen, it says, "And this is the confidence that we have in Him." What's the confidence? You know, it's just as uh, to me, confidence is like maybe uh, you're preparing for an exam mm -hmm. and. Um, you have not read like maybe a subject you haven't read uh the note for that subject that's me you don't have the confidence mm. to write that exam mm -hmm. you will be scared of failing mm. but this is god says and this is the confidence that we have in him mm. and that if we ask anything according to his will 
he heard us. Amen. And this confidence is prayer. That because through prayer, I think uh, whatever we ask through prayer, he is there to hear and answer us. But I look at it, and uh, there's, a, there's a statement that uh, the great controversy says, it says, no man is safe for a day mm. or an hour without prayer. Amen. Which, which it, it really touches me because uh, I think uh, way back to me, I don't like prayer. Mm. I, don't, I don't love praying, by the way, before. Mm. When I was in my own life, my sinful life, mm. then I don't love praying you because mm. because I think then I I normally look look at it that my dad and parent will pray, mm. but I was like, who are you praying to? Because there's no one I'm seeing you praying to. Mm. But later on, when you pray, and uh, when they pray, I see some things coming. Like what they pray for, it happens. You could so see. So I could see. Mm. So I keep asking myself that, uh, then who is this person who is answering all those prayer mm. points? Mm. So I later, I think, uh, I think that's really, that, that's what really made me to pick this topic called just prayer. Mm. And uh, when we look at, um, this other, uh, there are different ways, different Bible verses, uh, chapters that say, when we look at Second Chronicles 7 verse 14, it said, mm. if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Mm. To humble someone, for someone to humble his or herself, mm. I think uh, you need to let the Spirit, Holy Spirit of God to direct you. Mm. And uh, uh, I think uh, when we look at uh, this, uh, this other chapter, uh, Mark, 11, Mark 11, verse 24, it says, Therefore, yeah, Mark, Mark 11, verse 24, yeah. He said, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, hmm. believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. Because uh, uh, prayer does not just go along just praying. You have to have faith. Hmm. Because uh, when you pray and you don't have faith, hmm. then I think you're not expecting mm. what you have prayed for. Mm. Because by believing it, mm. even though it's not yet answered, but by believing in what you pray for, mm. definitely is ready answered. Mm. So, uh, because uh, I am in the singing group uh, called Shofar, uh -huh. and I think through Shofar, Shofar has really made my Christian life very strong. Amen. Because my parents are not here. Mm -hmm. But I have this other family called Shofar. Amen. Because uh, through Shofar, we share a lot of uh, um, the lessons, the study. God, yeah? uh, mm -hmm. Sunday, we go through Bible verses, you mm -hmm. see. And, you know, through that, when you have a family, we, we, we really goes into that and take you through all those chapters of Bible mm -hmm. and the lesson studies, you know, mm -hmm. it really does, it does not make you go away mm -hmm. from the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Because church, we go to church only on uh, Friday mm -hmm. evening, Saturday, mm -hmm. and Tuesday Bible study, you see. Mm -hmm. But some other days you can uh w with friends mm. it's like a family to me amen that's why i say shofar is my other family here amen. in kenya amen because they have really built my faith with mm. god that mm. it's very strong amen and uh we do share like when we have problems sometimes we we put a prayer section we pray concerning it and through that i've seen god has really been helping amen because my parents are not here, but when they pray, I, I feel that warm that I'm in a family that they are really taking care of me mm -hmm. through prayer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, I, and, this other, and this other verse says in Matthew 
26 verse 41. Mm. Matthew 26 verse 41 says, Watch and pray mm. that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Mm. I think prayer, it's, a, it's, a, it's really, really, really helping us in life because uh, we pass through a lot of temptations, we passed through a lot of, uh, like, like there was a time that uh, I do go to where I'm doing my attachment. Mm. When I go to work, sometimes my boss will just look at me. Before I sit down, I pray. Mm. Amen. You see, he looked at me and said, why do I love praying? I mm. said, because I believe my prayer I believe that I have a lot of temptations coming my way. Mm. So all the prayers I'm praying right now will work for me. Mm. So and then uh, even though it's I'm just coming out from my house from A to B, something may happen. Mm. But through that prayer that I've been praying, mm. God can just cater for my walking from Amen. A to B. Amen. So there are a lot of Prayer, I think, I think uh, in this world we have a lot of people who are rich. Mm. But richness can bring happiness to mm -mm. someone's life. Mm -mm. But when someone is in Christ, mm. because God said when we are in Him, I think He's there to, to give more than what we... Just like the little babies, mm. you see, uh, the, uh, the poor, the poor children, like Avarisa, I saw a just poor, poor guy who, they just gave him 10 bob and he was so happy. Mm. But when you give a rich man such a money, he will look at you and tell you that, did he ask for that? Mm. You see, but prayer is more than, to me, it brings more happiness to my life than than having money because Amen. if God can give me the grace to see today can give me the bread to breathe from this hour till the next day mm. it's more than money Amen. so I think uh, the prayer we pray today may not work at this may not work at the time you were expecting it mm. but I'm so sure when you have that faith in God when you have that belief and you pray concerning what you want, mm. it's going to come true. Amen. So mm. what I'm just advising mm. and pleading and praying with everyone in life is mm. we should always pray to God. Amen. Even in times of trouble, even God says we should pray for our enemies. Amen. Even though you're not talking to someone, you need to pray for them. Amen. Because they may be in a bigger situation that mm. you don't know, mm. but through your prayer can help them too. Amen. So even through prayer can bring them to Christ. Mm. So I think uh, what I'm just going to say in my conclusion is that mm. let's not forget to pray for one another. Amen. And when we keep praying for one another, God will keep helping us mm. and God will bring everyone together that at the end, we shall all make heaven. Amen. Yes. Thank so you so much. That's what I would just have to say mm. for now. Thank yes, you ma. so much. Yes. Yeah. I like that. We should even pray for our enemies. Yes. And sometimes, you know, you see someone acting strange and you think they're acting strange at you. Uh, yet behind the scenes they have a bigger problem yes, than you yes, yes. than you have right. ever imagined yes, yes. and if you got to know them you'd be ashamed that you even thought uh, they are acting strangely. Yes. So e even when we see someone acting strange, we should pray for them. We should pray for them because when you don't know what, okay, like you can just step out from the house and you don't know what has happened to that person mm. from his or her own home. Mm. So now maybe that person start giving you attitude. Mm. You don't know. You, you just have to pray no. for that person. Yeah. That's what I think. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank for the God word. Man. Thank you. Yeah, just to whisper a prayer before we go on to the next session. Okay, mm. let's pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word being shared. We thank you for how you bring us to the conclusion of this uh, mm. uh, word called prayer, the topic called prayer, because you said 
whenever we are in need of you, we should call upon mm. you. And you also, you told us that we should always pray for our enemies mm. because you don't know, we don't know what they are passing through. Mm. But I, I pray that touch in each and every life in this life that mm. uh, we don't know what's the situation, those people who are sick, those people who are in need of you. Mm. I pray at this time, now may you heal. May you heal people who mm. are sick. May you touch mm. people who need you because mm. it takes the grace for them to walk in your ways. Yes, so Father, well. I thank you for this hour. As we want to continue, may you be with us, guide us, direct us. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Uh, we're, uh, dear viewer, we'll go on a short break, and after the break we will listen to uh, Brother William's testimony. Don't go away. We are glad that you're watching. Thank you for staying with uh, uh, Lift Up Your Hearts on Hope Channel Kenya. And we are listening to the testimony of Brother Jegede, Jegede Ayo Olua Williams. <laughs> that, I, see, that I, see, I see that first name is too hard. <laughs> it's, it's very tough. <laughs> it's, it's just not familiar. <laughs> That's uh, but, a Yoruba uh, name. <laughs> oh, Yoruba. Yes, ma. Jegede. Yes. Ayo Olua. That yes, Ayorua we... means the joy of God. Oh, yes. Olua. Yes. Ah, that's nice. Yes, I have a sister ma. called Ayo. Ayo, that's joy. Yes, <laughs> that's joy. Yes, ma. yes, yes, yes. And I had a, I had a, a, a Yoruba a roommate wow. called uh, Yinka. Yinka, or Yinka. Shalaja. Oh, oh, Yinka, <laughs> that's, that's, that's another Yoruba name. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so my brother. Yes, ma'am. Um, you are a Christian. Yes, by His grace. Amen, yes, amen. Ma Born again. By His grace. Can you tell us how it happened? How did you okay. meet Christ? Um, I think uh, from, um, from my child. A Seventh-day Adventist Christian? Yeah, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Amen. Christian. I'm the only Seventh-day Adventist in my family, a by the way. Amen. Yes, Tell yeah. us how it happened. Okay, it happens. My, f I, my first university, I attended uh, a Seventh-day Adventist university. Where? Uh, back home, which mm -hmm. is Babcock University. Mm -hmm. And um, I think then I didn't... Uh, my life then was not really, really in a good shape. Mm -hmm. Because then... Uh, I believe the social life was a fun time. University was because my primary school, mm. I was in boarding. High school, mm -hmm. I was in boarding. So I didn't get to experience that uh, social commun community that you just have fun. So you thought so it was fun time. <laughs> yeah, so I thought it was fun Freedom. time. Freedom to oh. do whatever you want to do. Mm. So, but I, uh, I think... Um, it uh, the life of my dad and mom mm. really sometimes makes me to ask who mm. is this God? Mm. You see, mm. but uh, so, I think so. Your parents are Christians. They're very, very. My dad is a, apart from his job, he's mm. a pastor too. Amen. Yes. Mm. So uh, this time around, I think uh, because due to his work. Mm. He is uh, is a military person, and mm -hmm. uh, back home, you know, we have these arm robbers, too much of disturbance. Mm. Mm. So I think then I was in high school, but when they call us to pray in the evening before we sleep, I was sleeping during prayer prayer time. Oh, uh, you'd so, fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So there was this time that we went on, the, um, went sleeping. My dad was around. Then arm robbers came around. Then. The, um, but I just saw this man, he's not scared. Your dad? Yeah, he's not scared. So he, he approached them, and we kids and my mom, we went and hide. 
watching him as the first son, watching him from an angle that uh, these people carrying gone and whatever. They shot him at the end. They, but shot, they shot him. But before they shot him, he shouted the name of Jesus. Mm. So, but now I was like, then I get to know that that bullet, that the gun was facing him in a direction, but the bullet came to meet him on the leg. Hmm. So I was like, what is this, uh, like what kind of power draw the suppression of that uh, bullet? Like it was deflated. Yeah, to the other hmm. side. So it met him on the leg and uh, this man keeps, he was so strong that he said something and said that uh, when his family, because the bullet entered the leg and uh, that leg was uh, full with people wounds of blood inside and bullet was inside the leg so he went to the hospital and from his own family background they believe in what we call in my country juju mm. there's uh, this uh, herbal way of doing things that are not christian way not god's way so they told him that uh, instead of going through surgery let's uh, just use this stuff and it will bring yeah it will bring out the blood back from the leg but he told them something which really makes me think a lot that i believe god has a purpose for mm. my life mm. if it is the, if it is my time to die now mm. it's okay but for me to go into what you people are saying i will never go mm. so they should go through the operation and do what it's necessary. So if God say I'm not going to use this leg again, it's okay. Your dad told them. Yeah, he mm -hmm. told them. So I was like, uh, can't, at that time I was the first son, so I was there. I was like, why can't you just allow them do this thing? Mm. But you know that statement, keeps, he keeps saying it, I will not follow the evil way. Mm. I will allow God to be in my life. Mm. And if I'm going to die, let me know I die knowing God is still there. So they wanted a, a witch doctor. To yeah, a witch doctor. They will make some incantation. Then mm. the bullet will come out and mm. act on that thing. Mm. So, but I, I thank God that he stood in his faith and believed. Amen. And right now the leg even healed back, flesh grew back Amen. and he's walking. Amen. So since then again, I think, but then I was still not in that line of faith. But I think when I came to Kenya, when I started studying in Baraton, mm -hmm. and there was this spiritual week that um, I, we, we students have to attend. So I was, uh, I was there. I was just sitting like a down. Like week of prayer? Yeah, week of prayer prayer, mm -hmm. spiritual prayer and emphasis. Uh -huh. mm. So I was there sitting down, uh, concentrating. I didn't even know someone was watching me from the behind. Mm. So as the prayer was, uh, the preaching was going on, mm. there's something in me that my body was vibrating. Mm. You see? Uh, as you listen it, to I've the word of God. I've never experienced that in my life. Mm -hmm. I was listening, then it got to that time of altar call mm -hmm. and the pastor was saying there's still someone who is still there and my body keep vibrating like i've never feel that but i knew something wants me to just make a step so immediately i stood i make a step mm. the vibrating stop in my amen, body amen. so i got out there and the hand uh, of God was upon me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I think that was that was God really mm. calling me. I think I should surrender whatsoever my mm. sinful life. Mm. So I got out. Uh, I went for baptism, baptismal classes, and from there I even brought someone to Christ through that. Amen. That. Uh, I t uh, people were asking me that even the father of that lady was asking me that I never believe my daughter will come to Christ. Amen. Because the father is a pastor in uh, pastor also. So because she she's used to drinking, smoking 
And, and she, uh, she was with you at Baraton. Yeah, she was with me at Baraton. Uh -huh. So mm. I thank God uh, he brought me to, li uh, to life that uh, through that, through that baptism class, I made my final destination to baptism. And from there, I think God has been using me. Mm. Like sometimes I may f try to f fall into temptation, but when I look at my life back then and compared to the present, mm. I see there is a lot of smooth road for Amen. me. Amen. So I was like, if I try to go back to the other life, I think I won't enjoy the life I'm enjoying right now. It, uh, you became a new creature. Yeah, I became a new creature Amen. and God has been so good. Amen. God has been so faithful. Then he gave you the Shafa family. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes, I think. Uh, coming to Nairobi mm. for my attachment mm. and I joined Shofa. Then Amen. Shofa has been a great family for me. Oh, like, glory be to God. Shofa, I learned a lot about uh, LNG White's books. And, you know, when they are quoting some paragraph, I'll be like, where are they reading this book from? Mm. So I'll ask the person and the person will refer me to some books Amen. and I'll go through them and, and I thank God for them. I used to think they were too bulky. I never used to read them. <laughs> and I said, I'll read the Bible first and get acquainted with the Bible. And now I'm always marveling at just how how wonderful those books are. Those books are so, so, so wonderful because I didn't get to know about those books, mm. uh, LNG, I didn't get to know about them, but uh, I think studying with Shofa, singing with Shofa, going out for ministries, you know, it really, it has really helped me that. Amen. I've really, really gone through, a, uh, like right now I'm, I'm reading on some book uh, called, uh, I think, uh, it basically to on prayer, Amen. which it, it uh, on the, I just m pick a statement on a paragraph that was saying, um, it even says, devote your, your mind to spiritual things. Mm. Keep your mind from dwelling upon yourself. Mm. Cultivate a contented, cheerful spirit. Mm. You talk too much upon on unimportant things mm. you gain no spiritual strength from this does mm. mean if we keep talking like you know gossiping about things instead of and politics cre yeah and creating time mm. on prayer i think mm. when you create time for prayer it will really take us we far than us Amen. talking the other politics way instead of putting time for god for god yeah, yeah. So, so so as we conclude your testimony so, um, what would you like to tell our viewer? Uh, which prayer did God answer for you? Okay, I think uh, God answered a prayer of a reason that uh, it really makes me think more that how come? Because mm. I've never acted before. Mm. I've never gone through some maybe advertising something mm -hmm. because uh being in nairobi uh i got uh, an invite mm. from a friend who told me that they are looking for for nigerian or ghanaian or something to go advertise for a particular company uh -huh. so and i've never acted before i've never done something f like advertising something like so a job is looking for you <laughs> yeah mm. yes so i think that day mm. i just told uh, my boss i uh, got an excuse i said please i want to go for an uh, an audition mm. i don't know what kind of audition but let me just go mm. so i got there and the audition was basically to act mm. to advertise mm. so I got there, I did the audition where like 29 to 30 people. Mm. So after then, I was just in the office, I was just in the house. Then I got a text, you have been selected wow. out of uh, 29 people. Praise God. I, because after the audition, I just told God, God, if it is your will, mm. 
mm. for me to go mm. for this, mm. let your will be done. Amen. That's what I just told you God. You prayed, but you prayed in God's will. Yes. That if it, if it be his will. Yeah. That because, you, you know, anything mm. without God's will, mm. it's not the right way. Praise God. Yes. And you got the job. Yeah. So, so I, I think I got, uh, after the first interview, you have to go for another interview mm. with uh, Skyping with the company uh, uh, client, the company's representative from Dubai. Mm -hmm. So I did that interview among we seven of us. So they mm. needed just three people. So out of the seven, I saw people who did more than what I was doing. Mm. Who, I, even when they were doing it, the lady was watching was saying wow bravo mm -hmm. nice but at my own point was there was no all those <laughs> there's no bravo <laughs> from <there. laughs> so so i was like god just help me through uh, i don't know mm. so i was just at work then they sent a message was your shoe size was your <laughs> so i was like what do they what want, do they want <laughs> yeah. this for uh. so then the, i got a call that mm. if you had to travel the next day Mm. Will you be able to travel? Wow. Then I said, yes, I will be able mm. to travel. Mm. Then from there, I didn't, after that day, I got uh, an email, print your ticket, print your hotel reservation. Wow. I, I just told God, God, you have really done Where a were big you going? surprise. Like a surprise that I've, I can never imagine. Exceedingly abundantly <laughs> above <laughs> what you ask or think. Because... I have not even informed my parents about it. Wow, where so were you going? I was going to Beirut. Wow. Yeah, wow. I was going to Beirut to go shoot an advert for the company. Wow, amazing. Yes, so, and that's how God helped me mm. and uh, see me through because there was a guy that he has even done advertisement for Airtel, for Safaricom. They didn't choose him. So and I you was, did, you, you and that was my first time in life to to add, to go for some such a thing. You didn't get a bravo from men, but I, God had you in mind. What bravo? It's amen, more than <laughs> amen. <laughs> yes. Praise God. Yes, thank you amen. so much. Thank you so much, thank my you. brother, for your wonderful testimony. We thank God. Uh, we bless the Lord for you. Thank, thank God you God. for making our time and sharing your life with uh, the people of God. Yes, uh, we will. Uh, we will pray and then we'll share these prayer requests. We will pray together. Okay. Uh, dear viewer, I thank God. I, I believe that you've enjoyed he, uh, Brother William's testimony like I have. I know that you have prayer requests that you're holding in your heart, even as, as well as uh, the ones that you have forwarded to us. We will pray together. We always pray together. For those of you who are watching us for the first time, we always pray together, trusting God for answered prayer. We know that he's a God who hears and answers prayer. And when you surrender to him and tell him that his will be done, he comes in ways that you do not expect. Uh, we thank God for Brother Williams. Um, let us uh, pray and then we will we will. Uh, pray for that request heavenly father once again we thank you thank lord you. our god we bless your name O holy father for the way that you deal with your people it is always so amazing O lord our god when we listen to testimonies of how you deal with your people answered prayers and your leading in the lives of your people thank you thank you for brother williams thank you for what you've done in his life thank you for revealing yourself to him Thank you, Father, for his family back home. Be with them. Protect them from evil. And as we go on to pray for your people, forgive our sins, O Lord our God, and hear us. O Lord our God, hear even that uh, viewer who's praying with us from home or from their office. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you will hear us, that the joy of your people may be full. Be glorified, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Brother Williams, yes, please read the first three prayer requests uh, and then uh, pray for them. Okay. Mm. Uh, the first prayer request is, Hi, H 
CK, please pray for me. I have challenges in my job. Mm. Satan is really walking. Mm. That's Catherine from Kisi Town. Yeah, you can pray for her and then go to the okay. next one like that. All right, let's mm. pray. Mm. A kind and loving Father, you are the one who gives life. Mm. You are the one who gives bread. Amen. You are the one who gives jobs mm. to every woman. Mm. You said you are there to give the best mm. for us. Mm. Father, I'm praying for Sister Katrin. Yes, Lord. That she's having challenges mm. in her job. That may you find a way. Is it may it be from the HR, from the what's or from the from the management, Father, mm. I'm praying. Touch whosoever is in charge. Yes, Lord. Or in any way she may be having that challenges, Father, mm. I'm praying that may you come in your mighty way mm. to smoothen it out, yes, to Lord. make a success out for her, mm. that at the end she may have the happiness, the glory, to, to glorify your name, that you are the Lord of Lords, you are the King of Kings. Father, I pray that may you help her to see her way through, that she may not have problems again. Mm. For in Jesus Christ's name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Mm. The next one. Um, the next one says, please pray for my mom who is sick. Mm. Let's pray. The mother is Jerob. Oh, the mm. mother is called Jerob. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's pray. A kind and loving Father, we thank you. Mm. We thank you because you are Dr. Jesus. Yes, O oh Lord. You are the healer. Mm. Because you said when we call upon you, you are there to answer. Amen. Father, I commit this mm. sister, this family, mm. the mother called Jerob. Mm. We're praying that in any way mm. that may it be the sickness in our life, mm. may you Use your mighty hand to touch her, mm. heal her from above, O oh Lord, that mm. may your name be glorified. For Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, the the third, third one say, mm. hello, please pray for me. I'm married three years now with no child. And also my husband stopped going to church because he's busy even on the Sabbath day. Mm. Please pray for me. God bless you. God bless you. Mm. Let's pray. Mm. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you for your mighty protection. We thank you for your so good. Mm. We thank you for your word in the Bible. You say, where two or two are gathered in your name, you are there. Mm. We thank you because you say, wait, when two are joined, mm. there's no, no one should put asunder. Mm. You are the one you said the marriage is the w it, it, it's it's a gift mm. and in that gift you said you you are going to provide mm. a child for <coughs> each and every marriage mm. father i'm praying concerning this marriage yes for, for this mbose mm. family mm. that may you provide mm. may you grant unto her may mm. you because you said we should ask whatsoever yes. we need yes Lord. father i'm praying that may you put into her mm. the new baby mm. is it either boy or girl father yes, i'm praying father. for your mighty hand mm. your miraculous hand yes, your father. miracle from above holy mm. father may you touch her mm. put into her yes, what father. she has been asking from mm. you oh lord that at the end she may have the cause to glorify your name Amen. and i'm praying concerning her <coughs> husband that mm. may you touch him may you touch his life that ad, that he shall give a time mm. that sabbath is meant for sabbath Amen. that he shall have the joy to mm. to to worship you on on sabbath Amen. that i'm praying that in all these may you surprise her may you bless her mm. that may you bring back the happiness Amen. that she has been having mm. that at the end she shall have the happy happiness from both you mm. and both from her husband Amen. Father, i pray this for in jesus name Amen. 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 Mm. Yes, someone says, please pray for me. Nina Shida Yakusahau Kilamara. Ila Ilali Ilali Hio um Hilo Sijambo la Kawaida Kwangu. Na nime nimeanza hivi majuzi. Please, please pray. Mm. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up this person to you, O Lord our God. 
they have a challenge with their memory, O King of Glory. And it's a recent problem, but there's something wrong with their memory. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you hear their cry. Amen. Restore their memory. Refresh their memory, O Amen. Lord our God. Uproot whatever is beginning to happen in their memory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. help them, Heavenly Father, even to live right, O Lord our God. To eat the kind of foods that will, will boost their memory. Be glorified, O Lord our God, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And uh, the other person says, I am Bahati. My husband is Boaz. I'm having a small kid and he doesn't want to take any responsibility. It, it, it is not picking up my calls. Either just pray for me. He's not uh, picking up my calls either. Just pray for me. Please put my... Uh, 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 that that is not complete, but uh, uh, it's sh sh she is uh, in 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 short she's saying pray for me, Bahati. Oh Lord our God, Father, we thank you for Bahati and Boaz. We thank you for their baby. Thank you, Lord. Lord our God, something has happened to Boaz that he does not want to see. Uh, Bahati does not even pick her calls. And they have a child together. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that Holy Father, you will touch each one of them. I pray first of all that they may encounter you, O Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. that they be filled with your Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. that they shall bring up this little child in the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We come against every scheme and work of the evil one against them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, be glorified. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Then we have uh, someone who says, hello, my name is Sharon from Kenya. I'd like you to pray for me. I have two, um, I have a new job. Please, I beg. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for Sharon. Thank you, Lord our God, for giving Sharon a new job. I pray in Jesus' name that you be with her and help her to do her job according to your will and to your honor and glory. Let Sharon encounter you, O Lord Jesus. Let her be filled with your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. O Lord our God, and I pray for all these, uh, uh, all these prayer requests, O Holy Father, that each person may first of all seek your kingdom and your righteousness mm -hmm. you have promised to add all the other things to us father be glorified and i lastly i pray for this person who says uombe jane nimgonjwa sana uh, which means pray for jane she's very sick father in the name of jesus christ i thank you for everyone who is an intercessor all the people who have sent prayer requests on behalf of others. Those Heavenly Father who are back home and in their offices and in hospitals, in jail, who are praying for someone else, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you remember them. Oh Lord our God, remember them, oh Holy Father, because they stand in the gap for your people. Lord our God, we pray for Jane. Have mercy on her, forgive her sins, oh Lord our God, and heal Jane and be glorified in her healing. Father, we bless your name, O Lord our God. And now as we conclude, O Holy Father, we thank you once again for our country. We thank you, Lord our God. We lift up our country, this nation, Kenya, into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father, we repent of the sins of Kenya. Have mercy on us. Do not deal with us according to our sins, but according to your great love. Forgive us the sins of our leaders, O Lord our God. Forgive us the sins of the church, O Holy Father, for we have not prayed the way that we should pray. Lord our God, forgive us, O Lord our God, because we have been corrupt. We have been immoral. O Lord our God, we have done things that we should not do even though we are called by your name. And so, Father, we repent on behalf of the church, O Lord our God. Forgive your people, Heavenly Father. Bring a mighty revival in the church, O Holy Father, Lord our God, that when people see us, O Lord, they will know that there's a difference between a Christian 
and the world, O Lord our God. Holy Father, have mercy on your people. We repent the sins of families, O my God, for we have done one another wrong, O Holy Father. We have not loved one another the way that we should love one another. We have not treated one another the way that we should treat one another. And the devil has invaded the, the, the families, O my God, and caused havoc. O Lord our God, we repent. And we pray for your intervention, O Lord our God, that you intervene in families, O Lord, in every kind of relationship in the families, between husbands and wives, between parents and children, between uh, in-laws and in-laws, O Lord our God, between neighbors, O Holy Father, we pray in Jesus' name for your intervention, that you reconcile, that you cause them to forgive one another, that you restore their relationships, O Lord our God, and be glorified above the heavens, O Lord. Father, we repent our sins, O Holy Father, and pray in Jesus' name that you have mercy on us. We pray in Jesus' name that you pour your spirit upon us and uh, uh, give us a spirit of prayer and supplication that we may pray without ceasing. And Father, we commit Kenya into your hands and we pray that as we go into elections, O Holy Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you intervene. Give us a peaceful election. And we pray in Jesus' name, that it will be transparent, it will be, um, uh, it will be uh, 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 an election, O oh Holy Father, that everyone will look at and know that it was free and fair, O oh Lord our God, and that at the end of it, those who win shall, shall, shall be uh, winners, O Lord, and those who lose will accept the winning. And Father, be glorified in this nation. Let it be said of Kenya that it's a land whose God is the Lord. Be glorified, O Lord our God. Give us leaders, O Holy Father. Give us leaders who fear the Lord, who hate evil. Leaders who will take this country to a different level, O Holy Father, of righteousness. Be glorified, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Dear viewer, thank you. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for watching Lift Up Your Hearts on Hope Channel Kenya. And uh, even as we part, may the Lord reveal himself to you in a very special way. May you meet Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, may you give him your life and all your sins. He forgives and it doesn't matter what you ever did. God forgives sins because of Jesus Christ. And may he fill you with his Holy Spirit. And may he hear you when you call. And study his word to know him. For John 3 and uh, 17 and verse 3 says, And this is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. God will give you a life that no one can ever take away from you. May he hear you when you call. May he heal you. May he provide for you. May he reconcile your family. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.